Did you know that the longest sea bridge in the world spans a whopping 165 kilometers? Welcome to our journey through time and tide, as we explore the fascinating world of sea bridges. These are not just structures of steel and concrete. They are marvelous marvels of engineering that have stood the test of time, linking lands and people across the vast expanses of the seas. For centuries these sea bridges have played a vital role, not only in connecting places, but also in shaping civilizations. They have been the arteries of trade, the thoroughfares of transport, and the gateways to tourism. From the humble beginnings of stone arches to the magnificent modern marvels that defy the forces of nature, these sea bridges have come a long way. Now, let's dive into history and explore the first known sea bridge. Our journey begins in ancient France, with the Pont du Gard, a Roman aqueduct bridge that crosses the Gardon River. A testament to the ingenuity of the Romans, the Pont du Gard stands as a marvel of ancient engineering. Constructed in the 1st century AD, this grand aqueduct was built to transport water from the springs of Oozes to the bustling city of Nîmes. This imposing structure, stretching across the Garden River, was not just a functional feat, but also a statement of the power and precision of the Roman Empire. The Pont du Gard, with its three tiered arches gracefully reaching a height of nearly 50 meters, is an architectural masterpiece. Each stone, some weighing up to six tons, was meticulously cut and fit together without the use of mortar. This dry stone construction technique, a signature of Roman engineering, has allowed the Pont du Gard to stand the test of time, surviving nearly 2,000 years of history. But the Pont du Gard was more than just a bridge. It was part of a complex water supply system that spanned over 50 kilometers. With a slight yet precise gradient, the aqueduct channeled water through the rugged landscape of southern France, demonstrating the Romans' mastery over their environment. This ancient aqueduct bridge played a vital role in the daily life of Nîmes, providing its citizens with a steady supply of fresh water for public baths, fountains, and even private homes. In many ways, the Pont du Gard was the lifeblood of the city, a symbol of the prosperity and sophistication of Roman culture. Today, the Pont du Gard stands as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a testament to the engineering prowess of the Romans and a lasting legacy of their rule. It continues to captivate us, a silent witness to the past, reminding us of the remarkable achievements of those who came before us. From this ancient marvel, we now jump ahead to the 19th century. Built in 1927, the Bridge of Lions in St. Augustine, Florida, is our next stop. This bridge isn't just any bridge, but a testament to the architectural marvels of the Roaring Twenties. The Bridge of Lions, named for the two marble lion statues that guard its west end, is a double-leaf bascule bridge. That's a fancy way of saying it's a drawbridge, designed to allow tall ships to pass beneath it. This design was both a unique feature and a significant challenge during its construction. Imagine the precision and ingenuity required to create a bridge that could not only withstand the weight of vehicles, but also smoothly lift its center, all while maintaining its stunning aesthetic appeal. But the Bridge of Lions is more than just a feat of engineering, it's a living piece of history, a symbol of the city's Spanish past, and a cherished landmark for the residents of St. Augustine. It connects Anastasia Island with the mainland, and has been facilitating this vital link for nearly a century now. The bridge's cultural and historical significance is so profound that when it was time for a rehabilitation in the early 21st century, the community insisted on preserving its original design. And so, the Bridge of Lions stands today, not just as a functional structure, but as a tribute to the architectural prowess and cultural legacy of the 1920s. As we leave the Roaring Twenties, we leap into the bustling age of modern engineering. Completed in 1998, the Great Belt Fixed Link in Denmark is a testament to modern engineering. Often referred to as the Great Belt Bridge, this modern marvel is more than just a bridge. It's a combination of a suspension bridge, a box girder bridge, and a tunnel, making it one of the most complex and ambitious engineering projects in the world. The Great Belt Fixed Link connects the Danish islands of Zealand and Funen, spanning a whopping one and a half kilometers. 
It's a lifeline for Denmark, serving as a vital artery for both road and rail traffic. Its design is a marvel in itself. The East Bridge, a suspension bridge with the world's third longest main span, soars majestically over the Great Belt Strait. The West Bridge, a Boxgirder bridge, spans the shallower waters near Funen. And finally the tunnel, an underwater tube running beneath the strait, completes this engineering trifecta, constructing the Great Belt. Fixed Link was no easy feat. The process took more than a decade, with the project facing numerous challenges along the way. Engineers had to grapple with the harsh Scandinavian weather, strong currents, and the daunting task of constructing a massive structure in the middle of the sea. But their perseverance paid off, and the result is the awe-inspiring structure we see today. But the Great Belt Fixed Link is more than just a marvel of engineering. It has had a profound impact on Denmark's economy and travel. Before its completion, the only way to cross the Great Belt Strait was by ferry, a time-consuming and often unpredictable journey. The Great Belt Fixed Link has drastically reduced travel times, boosted trade, and fostered greater connectivity between different parts of Denmark. It's a symbol of progress, a testament to human ingenuity, and a vital link in Denmark's transportation network. Now prepare to be awestruck by the longest sea bridge in the world, spanning an incredible 165 kilometers. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge is the longest sea bridge in the world. This colossal structure is more than just a bridge. It's a symbol of human ingenuity and determination, a testament to what we can achieve when we dare to dream big. Let's take a closer look. The construction of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge was no small feat. It took nine long years, from 2009 to 2018, to complete this engineering marvel. The project faced numerous challenges, from the unpredictable weather conditions of the Pearl River Delta to the complex engineering tasks required to create a bridge that could withstand typhoons, earthquakes, and the heavy traffic of one of the busiest waterways in the world. But the result is nothing short of awe-inspiring. The bridge boasts six lanes for vehicles, with a series of undersea tunnels allowing ships to pass without interruption. It has forever changed the landscape of the region, physically connecting Hong Kong to mainland China and Macau for the first time. The impact of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge goes beyond just travel. It's also a significant boon for trade in the region. Before the bridge, the journey between Hong Kong and Zhuhai could take up to four hours. Now, it's a swift 30-minute drive, greatly enhancing the flow of goods, services and people across the region. For all its grandeur and practicality, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge is more than a mere passage over water. It's a symbol of connection, bringing together different cultures, economies and people. It's proof that no matter how vast the sea, human ingenuity can always find a way to bridge the gap. And with this, we end our journey through time and tide, from the first sea bridge to the longest. From the Roman aqueducts to the marvels of modern engineering, sea bridges have been a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. We've traveled through time, marveling at these incredible structures that have stood as symbols of progress and connectivity. Let's take a moment to reflect on our journey. We started with the ancient Pont du Gard, an awe-inspiring aqueduct that showcased the engineering prowess of the Romans. This bridge not only served a practical purpose, but also testified to the Romans' architectural genius. We then moved on to the Bridge of Lions, a 19th-century wonder that beautifully blended functionality and aesthetics. It stands as a testament to the engineering capabilities of its time, a feat of construction that still captures the imagination. Our journey took us next to the Great Belt Fixed Link, a modern marvel that represents the peak of contemporary engineering. It's a testament to how far we've come in our architectural abilities, combining stunning design with practical functionality. Finally, we beheld the longest of them all, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. This sprawling structure, stretching over vast expanses of sea, showcases the limitless boundaries of human ingenuity. These sea bridges, each unique in their design and purpose, remind us of our continuous pursuit of progress and our insatiable curiosity to push boundaries. We hope you enjoyed this journey through time and tide, 
exploring the fascinating world of sea bridges. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning.